nine runs on 10 hits. Tyone saddled with the loss. Let's hear from him post game, starting with Meredith about his performance tonight. Damon said, why did you think your location was off at times tonight? Yeah, yeah, I thought, um, you know, especially with the slider there, I never got that pitch going. Um, and then there were like a few fastballs that I cut that otherwise I, you know, would want more of that like riding action through the zone, um, like the pitch to Lau and then the change up to Meadows cut too. So um, it kind of came and went, um, but, you know, I was trying to grind through it. You mentioned coming and going. You did manage nine strikeouts. How do you look at this outing? Because at times it seemed like you were really dialed in and could do what you want, and other times it seemed like you were still trying to find yourself out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good way of putting it. Uh, <clears throat> um, you know, hitters will tell you how your stuff plays and, and how your game plan is and stuff. And to be able to get nine strikeouts, that tells me that something was working. So I got a lot of swing and miss on the fastball up. Um, you know, overall, I thought that pitch was pretty good tonight, especially as I got rolling. Um, but yeah, I mean, the hits that, you know, the hits in big situations tell you that I didn't make the right pitch at the right time. Um, so yeah, a little bit of good, a little bit of bad need to be better. Um, put, a, put us in a hole in the first inning there. And then it was obviously kind of over from there. Bingo next to Marley Rivera. <clears throat> Hi, Jim. So not not as an excuse, but did you feel like the events of the last couple of days uh, threw you off your preparation in any way? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was ready to go. Um, you know, we were still able to get Matt Blake on the phone there. We FaceTimed him in and stuff. And with modern technology and stuff, there's a way to get everyone involved and make sure that we have everything we need. So it's definitely been, you know, a little different around here the past few days, but we're able to still take two or three um, and, I don't think it really had too much to do with, with the game tonight. And you as a young man, when you look across, you know, and you see what uh, Rich Hill is accomplishing, what, what does that look like you as, as a baseball fan? Yeah, yeah, he was rolling. Um, you know, he's known for his really good curveball. Um, and I thought just from what I saw from my angle tonight, it looked like he had his fastball going when he needed it to, uh, which, you know, when he's going right, it, he has the fastball to get guys off the curveball, the curveball to get guys off the fastball, and he just goes back and forth really well.